So after game two, which was last Wednesday, which feels like it was a very long time ago, Marcus made a big proclamation that he really hoped he wouldn't be bored in game three on Sunday at Oklahoma City. Were you bored? I was hella bored. It was, it was there were groin terrible. kicks. There was good transition basketball for Oklahoma City. You were bored by all of that? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a competitive game. We want to see a game. These are two great teams who put together classics during the regular mm -hmm. season. We're getting mess. Like we're getting, like Draymond's kicking somebody in the in the in the groin is like the highlight of the game. That's not that's not the playoff basketball I was hoping for. Yeah, I'm bored. How about you? We're going to get to that. I, we're, everybody has their opinion on it. There's one person that knows whether that was an intentional foul or not. And that's me. And that's, and that's Marcus Thompson. No, we're not going to get his hot take. You know, you can, you can go check out mercurynews.com for all of that. But that was a really pivotal play in this game. You know, I think it fired up the thunder. You know, uh, I, think, I think it got them to say, man, we, we, we were probably going to win anyway, but let's really smash these dudes. Mostly, I think it just showed the Warriors were in trouble, right? That's, that's like uh, the version of Mike Tyson biting off Holyfield's ear when you know he's going to lose the fight. I just feel like the Warriors were, they were in trouble. They were down eight. They couldn't make shots. And Draymond is desperately trying to make something happen. And that's the result. But you do that when you don't have another recourse, right? So I felt like they showed their hand. Like they were, they were having a hard time. They were trying to make something happen. And it just all went bad. And the Thunder said, all right, if that's how you want to play, you want to go around kicking dude, dudes in the balls, then, hey, we, we got something for you. Draymond's a spark plug of this team. He brings the energy. But can he also kind of be the detriment, given he's got two, point, two flagrant foul points? You can only, if you get, once you're past three, you're in trouble. That's an automatic one-game suspension. We'll know a little bit more on Monday as to whether he is suspended or whether it's completely wiped off or what, what have you. Is there a point now where, where Steve Kerr has to go to Draymond Green, where Steph Curry, where other guys have to step up into that leadership role just so he doesn't put this team in any more trouble than it already is down 2-1 in the Western Conference Finals? Absolutely not. Uh, you know, that same dude in this last time they were here, he single-handedly shut down the middle of the paint when the Warriors came back uh, and won that emotional game after he went off in the locker room. You can't. You can't cut off his legs and then say, go be great. Like, you know, if they're making shots, he's not doing that. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things where he, he really handled the, the referee situation. But going out there and playing and getting mad, I mean, that's fine. Westbrook does it. You know, Westbrook loses his mind sometimes. Those dudes are just wired that way. And to tell him to stop is to only neuter him to a point where he won't help you anyway. So the answer is to win, right? Mm -hmm. The reason all of this has been fine is because the Warriors won. When they lose, now it's like, oh, is he too crazy or whatever. If they win, then it, it's fine, you know? But you need him to play that way. You need him. What, what was worse, he was terrible in defense, right? Mm -hmm. Forget his emotions. How about not let people drive right by you, right? How about protect the rim? How about be the guy that's all over the place uh, making his presence felt? He wasn't that guy, and that matters more to me than flagrant fouls. And the Warriors got killed by the small lineup, which usually for Oklahoma City did not work at all during the 2015-16 regular season. So they got out small balled by really their own, their own formula for small ball. In order for that not to happen, considering they've shown their hand on what they can do with that, what changes in game four? Because the Warriors ended this game with a different tone than we saw in the first half. So you kind of have that thought that maybe there is a little bit of a positive they can take into game four. I, I think what changes is Nick Urin, the special assistant to Steve Kerr, comes with another like crazy adjustment and then the Warriors win three straight. That, that's the pattern, right? Uh, or they go to Blue City Cafe. Yeah, where's the barbecue? That's what we need to talk about. Where do the Warriors go eat and, and, and change the tone of the series? Uh, because that, that Oklahoma City small ball lineup was vicious, right? Some of it is, all right, let's see if they can do it again, right? Mm -hmm. They had 33 points. Everybody was hitting shots. Roberson and Waiters had 26 points on 11 for 18 shooting. It's like, all right, do it again. You know, that, that's part of it, right? Another part is they just have to play better. Like, uh, I, I don't really get worried about the Warriors until you beat them 
when they're playing well. And they weren't playing well, they played horribly and they got destroyed. If they're playing well and you beat them, all right. Uh, but, you know, still what? At least four games left in the series. I think they and should potentially be potentially two more at Oracle. Yeah, potentially two more at Oracle. I, th I think they'll be fine. I just want to see if they respond in game four. And I was like, all right, we just have ourselves a series. I just hope it's not blow out, blow out, blow out, blow out. I hope we get like one. Can I get a half court buzzer beater, Steph, please? Mm -hmm. Just one. Need to keep them awake at some point. So be sure to check out all of our coverage from Oklahoma City over at MercuryNews.com. We'll be here through Tuesday, so, you know, he, he has time to sleep. He can get his coffee, and then maybe, just maybe, in game four, he'll be entertained. Man, I really need a triple grande soy latte right now. His Twitter followers, all 40,000-plus of them, you heard him, so be sure to help Please him do out. do not get me 40,000 <laughs> triple grande soy lattes. All right, for Marcus Thompson, I'm Courtney Cronin. Thanks for watching.